The situation is constantly evolving with this pandemic. On Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, our viewers have sent in some questions. Joining us with those answers is infectious disease expert Dr. Art Reingold from Cal. From Cal. Dr. Reingold, on Twitter, one of our followers asked, are our efforts to shelter in place actually working or is it still too soon to tell? Well, I think it's probably a little too soon to tell, but here in the Bay Area and San Francisco in particular, I would say the preliminary evidence is that our efforts are beginning to bear fruit, but I'll be a little more comfortable saying that in another week or two. Uh, Dr. Reingold, is there an antibody test that somebody could take right now? So the quick answer is many people are busy developing antibody tests and a number are beginning to experiment with them. So I would expect we are going to have good antibody tests very soon that will tell us whether somebody was recently infected or not or whether they were infected at some point in the past. And the hope is uh, that if there's evidence that they have antibodies that, that we can potentially allow them to go back to work based on the fact that we're hopeful they'll be immune and not at risk of getting the infection again. Susan France on Facebook asks, is this truly airborne, meaning can it stay in the air for hours after someone sneezes or coughs, or would you have to be right beside the person to catch it as they sneezed or coughed? Well, we think for the most part the risk is in being in close proximity to someone so that their large droplets when they sneeze or cough uh, can, can strike you. Um, there is some preliminary evidence that the virus can remain in the air potentially for several hours, but that depends on temperature and humidity. So I would say the knowledge on that is evolving, and it's not yet clear whether what we call airborne transmission is an important part of this disease or not. But it's possible that that can occur on occasion, yes. Kate asks, what is being done to address concerns about asymptomatic people who can't get tested but may actually be infected? Aren't they posing a danger to others? Well, there may be transmission from asymptomatic people to other individuals. If so, it's presumably through getting the virus on their hand and then transmitting the virus from their hand to your hand or potentially an object. So we don't think that's terribly common, but it may be happening. And that's why we think good hand washing is a really important measure at this point. All right, Dr. Art Weingold from Cal, thank you so much for joining us. Sure, happy to help.